Good morning. <clears throat> and good morning again. <laughs> Particularly to those way over there. <laughs> My name's Rick Murdoch. I'm, uh, I'm not sure what I am anymore other than uh, part-time coordinator for the Michigan ACE Initiative and we have a lot of fun with that. Uh, who would ever expect that if you just uh, have a meeting that you'd have 500 of your closest friends show up. So uh, I, I'm just pleased and we're just excited beyond belief. Uh, so thank you for coming today and this is going to turn out to be a great day inside and sunny outside. So it, it's just going to be great. A few acknowledgments uh, that we always need to make and I'm going to start not in any particular order but I, I think they're important. Uh, first, uh, this is the third annual. People don't want me to call it an annual conference, but I'm calling it the third annual, which suggests there'll be another one. Uh, our first one was our launch back in uh, 2017. Our second one was where we partnered with uh, Mott's Children's Health Center uh, last year in Flint as part of Turi Day, and then of course this one. Um, so, you know, we'll keep this up. But mentioning uh, Turi Day, I, I just want to make a reference. Uh, that'll take place again in October, according to Todd. And the executive director of uh, the Children's Health Center, Todd Wisely, if you could just wave your hand. Thank you for your partnership over time. Uh, we have our, our support for the initiative originally came from the Michigan Health Endowment Fund. And I don't think Paul's here yet. Paul Hilligan's the executive director. He is. There he is. Paul, would you uh, uh, wave your hand? Thank you. And Becky Ciani, who is our project officer. Becky's over here. Uh, wonderful. They're just great people to work with, and we can't say enough, and hopefully we can partner with you in the future. Um, we're pleased also to have what I call the, the trio of past directors uh, sitting uh, over here in the, on this side. Uh, Jim Haveman, uh, Janet Oshesky, and Nick Lyon. Each of them in their own way have been very helpful in, in giving us guidance and, and helping us move this initiative over the past couple of years and we'll continue to rely on them for their counsel. So I appreciate their effort with us. We can't do it without our steering committee members. We have a number of them here. So if our steering committee members would stand. If you have any questions or problems, talk to them. <laughs> they are truly responsible individuals. We, we have, uh, I, I think what makes this initiative powerful and will continue to make it powerful is the grassroots effort. And that's through our master trainers and we have quite a few of them here today. So I'd like all of them to stand, if you will, including those who finished yesterday. And lastly, um, and, and this may be a little cryptic, but I have to be, um, I, I want to personally recognize David and Sherry for making this possible. Without them, this event, our initiative, where we are today, wouldn't be taking place. So thanks to David and Sherry. They will see the video on this. So um, yeah, thanks again. So let's get, uh, let's get this event underway. We are pleased uh, to have an MC who uh, just fills all of our criteria for making this event work smoothly. Um, Sherry Jones is well known for those here in mid-Michigan. She's a news anchor for the 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock news on WLNS Channel 6. She's a member of our ACE Steering Committee and she participates in just countless uh, child and adolescent uh, health advocacy organizations and events across this region. Uh, she's truly one who walks the talk and is one of our community champions and we're just pleased to have her. We never have to ask her twice for these events. So uh, please join me in welcoming Sherry Jones to the stage.
Well, good morning, everyone. Let's give Rick a huge round of applause for all that he has done for us.